over that it was going to be joint property. And so when he left, you were angry with him and said, you're not getting your things back. And so I believe you were led to believe or led to think that you would never have to give the property up. But unless you can tell me how there's enough evidence to have convinced you, I have somebody talking sweet to you. It's not the same as... I have yeah. statements from people, even people, he moved a guy in named Clyde to stay with us. Say so what? That he gave me that stuff. He moved another guy in there. Yeah, Clyde, 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 to stay with us. There was, there was a few people that stayed with us. There was a lot of people, lot of people, in, the people in the house. What about all the other folks first? Oh, that was mine. But he gave that to me. He asked me if he's the only one that brought something I'm the only one that brought something up. And I do have a police report to say that she did not return my things. I did take the police to get my, my things. Yeah, but ma'am, the problem, the, the issue is yeah. whether your husband, yeah, I believe, oh, no. I believe oh, this is oh, one of them. Oh, and if he's your husband, it was joint property. Yes. So he gave his own property away. Mm -hmm. If that's the case. Your counterclaim, why are you suing, suing him for stolen money and the value of a handgun? My mom, on September 4th, I got a phone call from my sister. My mom's heart had stopped. And I called him, and he told me he would ride down there with me. So I gave him my money card to go get us a soda. And my gun was in the back of the car. Well, he didn't show back up. I had to end up hitchhiking home. He took my car, my money card, and my gun. He came back at noon that day, and I have a police report where I... So where did he say he has been? He's, he texted me at 7 o'clock when he said he fell off his square that he was in Peoria. <laughs> fell off his square, that's meaning that's he relapsed? Yes. yes. Okay, he had been a drug addict? Yes, he's heroin oh, addict. Right. A bring addict? Recovery. Not recovery, he's still doing it. He's been doing it the whole time they were in a relationship. <laughs> Sir, what did you mean by fell off your square? Fell off my square. I didn't fall off my square. You didn't tell me that? I, no, I didn't. I just didn't go back home because I was going back to my wife. Well, I did had you, a car. And you called, didn't have her car? Yes, sir. For what? I called because I was driving the car. For what? Just driving. I was just back okay. home riding around and I brought the car back. That's when her sister was there and the police came and they helped. They, I got my items up, my clothing, some of my clothing up out of there because she wouldn't let me go back in the house. Police so, came for what reason? To, to remove my clothing. Nothing about the car? And no, the they, didn't say about, they didn't say nothing about the car. They, I just got when I got when I got back. The police was there. I went in and got my clothes, and the, the credit card, uh -huh. her debit card. She gave me the pen to her debit card, so, uh, so I can use it. Because you all were a couple. Because why? Because you all were a couple. We were together. At yes, the names on each other's. Yes, sir. We was together. At God. The and she gave me the pen number to the debit card. As far as with the gun, ma'am. He had the pin number. Yes, I, I, he had to go get us a pop. He was supposed to come back, but I didn't tell him to spend $220 off. What the about show. the gun? I'm a convicted felon. The okay. gun, why would I have the gun in my possession? Did I'm you not, touch the gun? Did you remove the gun? Did, when she first bought it, I saw the gun and touched no, the gun. No, we're talking about this. No, it's, no, sir, I did not. So when this was mentioned to you, what did you say, either to her or the police, regarding the gun? I say your stuff is in your house. I don't know where your gun is. All right, what do you have? You say you have a police report I have text messages there? where I text him and ask him for my gun, and he said, oh, you can read it. And then here's a police report. All right, let's see the police report. All right, well, the good news is there's good news for you and good news for you. I don't know about how you might feel about this <laughs> news. I mean, you should feel good. You will feel good. However, he threw you off a little bit. All right, plain enough. This is what you say to her. My t-shirts with my mom and granddad still there. May I have them pictures too? And he's asking you for something. And you say, can I have my gun? He says, you could have just said that instead of acting like you love me. And when I get my things, yes, you can have your gun. Sir, that's somebody... I didn't, that's not it. Later on Judge Mathis. I realized he was the same person still, that he would still smoke and he'd still drink. And he'd, How'd you know? Because he would do it right there in front of me. Okay, sir, give me some background. You're uh, going to get that weed out your throat. Okay. Uh, Judge Mathis, you're still 
I do. I'm a different type of woman than her, and I would never want another woman's belongings in, in my home, or rather less wear my, another woman's clothes. I didn't wear it more, first off, and second off, your husband brought it in and gave it to me. He's a crack cocaine addict. I've never seen anything like it before. She was very interested in it. Don't come in here talking about you didn't know what it was. You hit it with him because you were a crack addict. Judge Mathis. I work at a warehouse. I carry a lot of heavy boxes. I do a lot of digging. So it's really hard on my back and my feet. And it seems like my whole body. I went to a cookie store and they fitted me. I wear my high sports and I'm good to go. It's like I don't feel that discomfort anymore. It's gone. It's good. It's all good right now. It's all good. My name is Maria and that's my good feet story. Yes, yeah, stores, aching back, even fighter fashion items. Come to the good feet store today. Century Group Crystal TV has all your favorite channels, tons of live sports, and more, all in crystal clear HD. Watch when and where you want with advanced features like a wireless set-top box, whole home DVR, and Prism on the go. And choose from a variety of great packages to fit your home. Call 800-525-6607 and get started with the Prism Essential TV bundle. You'll get TV plus up to 12 megs of CenturyLink internet, all for only $55 a month. This deal sounds great, especially if you love sports. Get Prism Essential TV and up to 12 megs of internet for only $55 a month. Score! Or if you love great movies, hey Clementine, go on to Prism Essential TV with up to 12 megs of internet for only $55 a month. Yeah. Call 800-525-6607. Get started with Prism Essential TV, plus up to 12 megs of internet speed. Just $55 a month for a year. Only from CenturyLink. Call and switch today. If you're injured, don't stress. Just dial 9 and let Frank do the rest. 999-9999. It's better than speed dial and faster than the phone book. 999-9999. Need help now? Pick up the phone and dial 9. No machines, just friendly people. If you've been injured in a car accident, dial us from anywhere in the valley. 999-9999.